Did you know that it snows on Mars? Hey, curious kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we're going to learn what the temperature is on Mars. But first, quick question. What gives off the most heat in our solar system? The sun, that bright ball of fire in the sky. Now Mars is 229 million kilometers or 142 million miles away from the sun. That's one and a half times further away than our home planet Earth. Earth is 150 kilometers or 93 million miles away from the sun. And since Mars is further away, it's probably not as warm. Think about it. Think about sitting around a fire. If you're too close, it can be too hot. And then you back away and it gets cooler. The same thing with the planets possibly. Now let's look at Earth quick. What is the hottest temperature that we have on record? Do you think it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit? More than 100? 200? The biggest number that we read on a thermometer here on Earth is 136 degrees Fahrenheit or 58 degrees Celsius. That's hot. Now what about the coldest? Now, not surprisingly, it comes from the South Pole, Antarctica coming in at a staggering negative 126 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 88 degrees Celsius. That's cold. But the average temperature on Earth is 57 degrees Fahrenheit or 14 degrees Celsius. Now, we gotta move on and talk about Mars. So we know it's further away from the sun, so it's a bit cooler, but there are other reasons too. The atmosphere is thinner. It's a hundred times thinner than Earth's. One reason is because there's less gravity. Yep, gravity holds down the atmosphere. Since Mars is a little bit smaller, it has one third the gravity of Earth. Meaning if you were 100 pounds on Earth, you were only 33 pounds on Mars. But why does an atmosphere matter? Because it acts like a blanket, a thermal blanket to keep the heat in. And that's why Venus is the hottest planet, not Mercury. Because it's thick atmosphere. It's the thickest atmosphere of the planets close to the sun. So with Mars being 229 million kilometers away from the sun and having a very thin atmosphere, the average temperature is a chilly at negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 60 degrees Celsius. It gets much colder too. In the winter at the poles, top and bottom, it gets as low as negative 195 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 125 degrees Celsius. Wow, it does get warm though. A summer day, so we need these, at the equator could be a pleasant 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. That's not too bad, right? Well, that same spot during a summer night gets down to negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 73 degrees Celsius. Yeah, not too pleasant. You don't want to live there, no. Now, I've said winter and summer. Yes, Mars has seasons, like we have seasons here on Earth, and it has the same amount. It has four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter, but they're longer. So Mars takes 23 months to go around the sun, where Earth just takes 12 months. So the seasons are longer. Mars's spring is seven months long, summer and fall are both six months long, and winter is a nice short four months long. Now during the winter, we talked about this a little bit earlier, we've got frost that forms on rock and ice forming at the poles. Here we go, we got the North Pole, the South Pole. See these white patches? Yeah, that's the polar ice caps on Mars, just like we have on Earth. South Pole, North Pole, a bunch of ice. But it's not water ice like we have here on Earth. It's carbon dioxide ice also known as dry ice, and you know what? I've got some right here. So check this out. You would need tongs or some gloves to hold it because it's so cold. Look at this. You can see the smoke coming off the top. So I got some dry ice right here. Now how is it different? So water ice is water, H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. Carbon dioxide ice is carbon dioxide. Let's do a little experiment. I've got some water as proof. Drink it and we got regular ice. These are perfectly normal ice cubes. Just pull them out of the fridge. Pop in the water, what's gonna happen? They float, right? You see them float there and it just cools down. Get a nice icy drink. But 
What if we do the same thing with carbon dioxide ice, with dry ice? So I got my water here, need my special tongs. Let's do the big one. Here we go, we got the big piece right here. You ready? What, look at that. Oh my gosh, you can't even see it because there's so much smoke. If I move the smoke away, it's bubbling. You can see the dry ice is bubbling and it's not floating, it sinks because it's denser. It's denser in the water. And this is a really cool effect you can do during Halloween to create some neat smoke that's going on out there. So that's the dry ice. This is the stuff that's at Mars on the poles. So you can't just pop it in your, your water and have a drink. You don't want to be doing that. So look at all that cool smoke. It's just vapor. This is a really cool experiment. But what I think is actually even more cool is that in 2008, the Phoenix Mars lander looked up and saw snow coming from Martian clouds. Wow, yeah, it snows on Mars. So uh, who wants to go sledding? Now on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of what is the name of the first spacecraft to carry a golden record into space is D, Voyager 2. Yes, Voyager 2 actually launched before Voyager 1 because it was going to be going faster. Voyager 1 was going to be going faster and they wanted the first spacecraft that got to Jupiter to be named Voyager 1. So NASA launched Voyager 2 first, that was going a little slower, and then they launched Voyager 1. So the correct answer is Voyager 2 was the first one in space bringing that golden record. And Pioneer, they had something gold, but that was just a plaque. Gold plaques, but not golden records. So this week's question is, at what temperature does water freeze? Is it A, negative 10 degrees Celsius, B, zero degrees Celsius, C, 10 degrees Celsius, or D, 32 degrees Celsius? Tune in next week to get your answer. And always, be curious.